Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. For reading the Quran, we will receive for every letter 10 rewards. When it is in Ramadan, that 10 is multiplied further. In the last 10 days of Ramadan or 10 nights of Ramadan, let's not waste our time. Because by reading the word of Allah, you're getting 10 rewards. If you read one verse, that's hundreds of rewards packed away, subhanAllah, and multiplied because of the condition of fasting, because of the fact that it's the nights, because of the fact that it's the, it's the last, one of the last 10 nights and more so one of the odd nights. So if we are going to read messages on our phones and on the internet and with others and waste our time talking and uh, speaking that which is futile, a lot of the times what we read is juicy stories, gossip and, you know, slander, sometimes backbiting, whatever else it may be. Avoid that. The reason is our time is limited and we need to maximize on the reward during this month of Ramadan. We can do better. We must do better. Ramadan is a month of recharge. Ramadan is a month of reconnecting. Ramadan is a month wherein which Allah Almighty is forgiving every night, freeing people from hellfire. Once your name is on there once, it, that's it, you're set, alhamdulillah. Allah will guide you towards doing good. Allah will guide you towards leaving bad. Allah will guide you towards repentance throughout the year. Allah will guide you towards fulfilling acts of worship that are pleasing to Him throughout the year if He accepts you even once. So may Allah grant us acceptance. That's why we say, Allahumma wafiqna. Oh Allah, grant us acceptance to stand during Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, the night of power. Oh Allah, help us so that we use our time wisely. Don't waste your time. Today, I want to challenge all of you to pick the Quran up and read as much as you can. Also remember to listen to recitation is also rewarding. You will get a beautiful reward to listen to the recitation too. To ponder over it is an amazing reward to remember Allah, to sit and speak to each other beautiful reminders, good stories, that which will encourage people to do good, to empower people, to give out charity, to help the poor and the needy, to reach out to widows and orphans, to be there for those who are downtrodden, those who are heartbroken. All those are acts of worship we should be engaging in in the month of Ramadan. Someone asked me, how should I split my acts of worship? Remember, sleep is an act of worship. But some of the young people sleep all day, saying, I've been worshipping Allah all day. Sleeping is only an act of worship if it is done at the right time and in the right place. If it is in the wrong place, it's not an act of worship. And if it is at the wrong time, it's not an act of worship. It could be sinful. May Allah Almighty grant us steadfastness. So remember to sleep at the right time and remember to thank Allah. What you could do is when you get up for Salat al-Tahajjud, get up early for suhoor. Uh, wash yourself, perhaps you can have a bath or a shower, you can make wudu, depending on what you need to do. And what, you, what then needs to happen is read a little bit of Qur'an, engage in some prayer, a few units of tahajjud, ask Allah Almighty to grant ease. And then once you've done your witr salah, you partake of a little bit of suhoor, Remember the lighter the meal in the morning, the better your fast will go. The more you eat in the pre-dawn meal, the more difficult the fast becomes in the case of majority of us. And then you do Salatul Fajr. After Fajr, you can sit for a while. Remember Allah. It depends on whether you go to work or not. You could sleep, actually. It's not a bad idea. But the remembrance of Allah for a short while, there is a beautiful dua that we should be reading. Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi adada khalqihi wa ridha nafsihi wa zinata arshihi wa midada kalimatihi. At least thrice, repeat that dua. You get a reward for having sat right up to sunrise, even though you didn't sit all of that. But that dua gives you that particular reward. And in Ramadan, it's multiplied many fold. Allah knows best. Then you, if you have stayed awake and you stayed awake up to sunrise, you can read what is known as Ishraq, the Salah that is voluntary, that you read after the sun has risen. And then you can go to sleep if you want, or you go to work. Some who might have already slept and then you can go to work, subhanAllah, remember to be conscious of your temper and your words. Be conscious of what you say and do. Be conscious of everything. 
So at lunchtime, you would pause because you, there is no lunch for you. You can fulfill your dhuhr salah. You then spend a little bit of time reading the Quran. Remembrance of Allah through your work, while you're working, through the morning, while you're doing whatever you are doing. And if you're not working or you have an opportunity to listen to something while you're doing maybe at home some of the chores or the cooking or whatever else it may be, listen to something good, not something bad. Don't listen to that which is filled with gossip and hate and backbiting and so on. Listen to spiritual things. Listen to the word of Allah, the most powerful word in existence. Recitations, listen to a good speech, a good lecture, some lessons perhaps if you've joined. And in the background, you may listen to this uh, and Allah will open your doors because you're not spending your time in something bad. You're spending it in something good. And then you, after Salat al-Dhuhr, you can continue with your work. Uh, you can continue with some adhkar. And as you're working, remembrance of Allah subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu akbar, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. These are beautiful ways of remembrance of Allah. And then as your day comes to an end and you go back to your, to your home, you might want to rest a little bit, no harm. Make sure you don't miss Salat al-Asr. You might want to lie down for a bit or you might want to pick up the Qur'an, read again. It's the month of the Qur'an and read a little bit again, ponder over the meanings, perhaps listen to a lecture or a lesson. You could listen to a few series every single day, set aside a time. Listen twice if it's short. Listen three times if you really want to learn lessons. You won't forget it when you listen to something twice or thrice. And thereafter, you start preparing for iftar and you, 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 know, you sit and make a lot of dua, supplication to Allah. You have your iftar meal. It should be light. Uh, you make your salatul maghrib. You want to eat a little bit more. After that, do not indulge in food. Don't eat too much in Ramadan. Not at all. Don't, in the evening, don't eat so much that you find it difficult to move. So remember, you still have taraweeh to read. You still have Salat al-Isha. So you fulfill your Salat al-Isha. You enjoy the taraweeh. You come back. You might want to have a cup of tea. You might want to have some ice cream, depending on where you are on the globe. And mashallah, Allah will bless you in a million and one ways. Then you spend a little bit of time with the dhikr of Allah. The most powerful thing to read during the last 10 nights, especially the odd nights, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive me. That's a beautiful dua. So my brothers and sisters, thereafter, you may rest for a while. If you're really feeling up to it, you can actually engage in worship. Take a bit of water, make sure you're hydrated. So depending on where you are and, and what happens in, around you, make sure you make the most of these days. These are blessed days. May Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank mm-hmm. you.